Hello everyone, welcome back to DC Train Spotting. And uh, today, uh, after a long time since my previous video, also on the East Coastway as we are today, um, we are, I thought, uh, especially seeing this video before was a tutorial, I thought I'd do another tutorial for people who maybe aren't as familiar with British signalling and British safety systems as I am and as a lot of other train sim players are. So we're here on 377 on East Coastway. I'm in Scenario Planner, uh, so this is going to look different. And I've also pre, I've also pre-used the save bug uh, so that we can now bypass red signals and show you uh, the features of AWS and TPWS. So uh, we've boarded passengers here at uh, here at Eastbourne, and we are uh, we're ready to head off to um, to uh, Lewis. Is where our train's actually going to go, but I'm probably going to end it before that. So I've just set here as the DRA. DRA stands for Drivers Reminder, Driver Reminder Appliance, or Drivers Reminder Appliance, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, D establishes a traction lock, which you can tell by the red square uh, around my power control, which is the uh, the number that I've just changed from three to two to one to two to three. Uh, this also happens when we uh, unlock the doors. So I'm going to lock the doors now. And you can see that's still on. Once it's reset, and I set it to zero, see? It establishes a traction lock. It doesn't apply the brakes, so if you're on a hill, it'll, you'll still move with the hill, but you can't apply power. Even if you pull the throttle back, you can't apply power. You can still apply brake with the DRA on, and you can apply the DRA whilst moving. Like so. Uh, so that's what DRA does. That's nice and simple. Uh, in real use on the railways, uh, DRA is used uh, on by drivers in multiple occasions, where perhaps they're at a station and the station starting signal, like this one, uh, is red. It's a danger, uh, and that means that it's going to prevent them from passing that signal at danger. Um, by uh, uh, that's going to prevent them from passing that signal at danger uh, by giving them a traction lock. Uh, which means that when they try and power away before looking at the signal, obviously with the DRA on, they can't. If I try and pull away, I can't. And this helps, and of course this is, it's just one button, it's a single button. Push it and it will glow red when it's set, pull it back and it's uh, unlit and that's reset. Uh, we also have AWS and that's a warning system, uh, automatic warning system. So there are little ramps if we go up here this is uh, oh no we've got to use the other camera hold on one second um I'll go all the way over here um but um if you look this here this little grill this is TPWS uh, and I'll explain and show off TPWS in a minute. Uh, TPWS is the most, it's considered as one of the most complicated when in reality it's actually quite simple. Uh, or at least in my opinion, it is one of the simplest, if not the simplest, of all of them, uh, of all of the systems uh, that are in use on the UK railways. This here is an AWS ra ramp or AWS magnet. We can tell this because it's yellow and it has one sloped end and one blocky end or flat end. One end, the slopey end, is a big magnet and uh, that magnet uh, responds to a magnet on the train um, and the, if that magnet is on, the magnet on the train will activate which will cause an alarm in the cab which will either notify you of a signal at danger or so red or caution which is yellow. Uh, with a blah warning signal uh, in the cab or a green signal which will let you the bing um, however this is used so that if there's a red signal or a yellow signal if the driver doesn't respond if the driver is incapacitated let's say he's passed out because nowadays we don't have stuff like dead man's handles like we used to or dead man pedals um, where basically you would have to apply pressure to a handle 
uh, to move the train because we don't have them anymore we use stuff like AWS as a warning system so if you don't reply to the warning within five or ten seconds uh, the train will put on the emergency brakes uh, and hopefully we'll be able to stop you short of the signal or uh, just beyond it they can also be used to signal speed limits not this one this is a speed limit change but you might see one later that is a uh, yellow triangular board uh, and that there will be an AWS magnet just before that to warn you of an upcoming speed restriction. So let's get back on our train. I am going to press the train stop over our button. Once again, I'll explain what TPWS does in a minute, uh, but I'll also give an explanation of uh, AWS, a uh, demonstration of AWS. Another thing that I've got in operation on this train is DSD. Now, DSD or DVD, Driver Safety Device, Driver Vigilance Device, uh, is a thing that if you don't touch the controls for 60 seconds, it will beep, 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 uh, and within about, again, about 5 or 10 seconds, the emergency brakes will switch on because you haven't replied to the warning. It's exactly the same. You keep the pedal, press, pedal pressed, and then when DSD goes up, you release it and press it down again. Yeah, nice and simple. So here we're approaching the AWS magnet for this red signal here. And you'll see that noise. And if we don't respond to it, emergency brake and the little TPWS brake demand light is now flashing because we haven't responded to it. And this is saying that a brake demand has been applied. Now you'll see that the, the sunflower icon that we had before has switched off. If we reset it by pressing this yellow button or just by pressing the O button on the PS4, it switches off and if there's a yellow signal it will display this what's called a sunflower uh, and if it's a clear signal it won't display that uh, and this can be used as another reminder if the station doesn't have a starter signal this can be used as a reminder for AWS uh, so let's say oh look this AWS sunflower is a light that means there's a cautionary or a danger signal ahead uh, so now we should be able to reset the brake demand by putting this into the off position back into the on position maybe nope there we go now we can get moving again now I'm going to show you how TPWS works now um, I'm just going to press train stop override as we go past this signal Okay, so TPWS uh, in the real world is something that use, is used at a red signal. Uh, if a train accidentally goes past that red signal, it's used to stop it. Here's another AWS ramp. Now, in faster speed areas, there are what are called TPWS over speed ramps. And those over speed ramps are used uh, so that if the train goes past a red signal, the train will get an emergency brake application and it will stop. Uh, here, I actually don't know if there is TPWS. There might not be. I don't think there is TPWS at this signal. This is actually a very rare occurrence. There's uh, only TPWS at the signal. So here, at this signal, we don't need to press the train stop override. That would stop it from applying the emergency brakes when we go past the red signal because there won't, there's not an active TPWS magnet. I mean, just cruise through it at red as we usually would. Now, as we go into this faster section of the line, um, there's going to be what are called overspeed magnets. So if, let's say, the emergency brake application happens when you're going past the signal, and it isn't, it won't, it can't slow you down enough. There'll be a sig there'll be a little TPWS ramp before it that will stop the train. That's not. That's another AWS ramp. You can tell that because it's yellow. But the TPWS ramps will always look as they do usually and there's no again there's not one here this is a very strange occurrence there are normally a lot of TPWS magnets um, but there aren't. that is that is very strange I did not know that I did not prepare for that um, so of course we'll keep going until we find one and stopping and slowing down at signals until we can find one there's signal up here that it might be a TPWS overspeed ramp I'm not sure that's an AWS magnet. If there's TPWS at this signal, it should be a TPWS over speed ramp. 
no, there is no TP. De oh no, you see that little brown thing? That's now gonna. If we go zero, oh, we've now been stopped. There's no AWS alarm. However, break demand. We've been stopped by TPWS, and because we're running in a safe position, we're running at a safe speed. Uh, TPWS, because we're not in that fast of a signal zone, of a speed zone, this TPWS ramp has managed to stop us uh, with half the train in the front of the signal and half the train behind the signal. So that's quite that, that's quite good, and that's what TPWS is. So TPWS is literally just used to uh to kind of hold the uh the emergency break like to emergency break you let's say you don't respond to aws or you do respond to aws or if you're starting off from a station and you don't and you forget uh that the signal is red as soon as you go past that signal uh you get tpws brake demand okay and as we release our brakes we're moving along to Hamden Park where the signals are green and we'll show you what uh, AWS looks like uh, in its fully functioning non-danger signal state. There we are. Okay, right. As we pull up to Hamden Park Station, um, we've finished with all the danger signals now. Coming to the station, nice and easy. There should be an AWS ramp somewhere down here. See the TPWS ramp for the signal going the other way? Here's our AWS ramp. And, uh... Bing! Because that signal is green, and the AWS sunflower has now switched off. So I hope that that was a nice, brief, uh... lesson introduction tutorial on British signalling and British safety systems, AWS, TPWS. Uh, as I said before, it is a quite simple system. DRA is not really a safety system, it's just a device used to stop it. AWS is literally just this one button and this one light. Uh, TPWS is just these three buttons and DSD is just the pedal, really. So it is quite easy, it's a lot easier uh, than a lot of the German and French safety systems and even a lot of the American safety systems, actually. Uh, it's extremely simple. Uh, it's not difficult because it doesn't need to be difficult. Um, as long as you use your common sense, uh, it's a very simple thing. Um, and as you can see, but in the top right corner, I'm not using the signal uh, or speed limit displays because I can use AWS and I know if it beeps, uh, either I'm going to have to slow down or there's going to be like a red signal or a yellow signal in front of me. So I don't really need that anymore. Um, and of course, uh, it's quite fun uh, to have TPWS working, even though it won't really be used um, because uh, obviously the game usually ends uh, without the red signal. Uh, if you are wondering how I've been able to pass red signals in the game, um, there is a save glitch. Uh, if you go past a red signal uh, and then back from a red signal to... Um, if you, as soon as you pass red signal, it says service failure or scenario failure or timetable failure. You then straight away pause the game, hit the triangle or whatever button it is appropriate to you to hit save, uh, and then exit and go back and resume a save uh, a save journey or a save game, and then you can go past red signals uh, to all your desires, and it enables you to obviously couple to a lot of trains as well. So obviously now, if I go backwards. I don't know whether TPWS will trigger. No, it won't. But I do hope that uh, was... Uh, actually, it might trigger if we go backwards. But anyway, I hope that was um, a good lesson. Uh, and I hope that you learned something from this. Uh, in the ways of uh, AWS and TPWS. Um, obviously, my upload schedule is extremely... Uh, extremely flawed at the moment i do need to think up something but uh thank you for watching uh me today on my youtube channel i hope you come again soon thank you very much see you all next time